actor is arrested for stealing poetry. Rodrigo Borgia seized control of the real Illuminati. Scientists unveil that summer heat waves are created by the eyes of birds. This is Radio Khan City News. You are listening to Radio Khan City News on Radio Khan City, the station so intense that we are only allowed 5 minutes of airtime every month. Our top story this month, actor Russell Hunt, better known as Merlin from the Round Table movie franchise, has been arrested on suspicion on having stolen the famous one-word poems from Greenville Museum. The arrest comes in wake of a police officer pulling over Mr. Hunt's car for a routine check, during which the actor shouted at the officer for being stopped. The actor was taken into custody and the missing manuscripts were found in the glove compartment of his car. The poems of Greenville poet C. Thomas Whitaker, born John Brooks, are expected to be back on display in Greenville Museum in short order. Despite the arrest and the Greenville-wide outrage against his actions, Russell Hunt remains under contract with Bond Films and is set to reprise his role in the upcoming film Round Table 6 – The Elliptical Table. New records leaked from the secret library of the real Illuminati reveal that their organization was the victim of a hostile takeover in the late 15th century. The inner council of the real Illuminati attempted to forge an alliance with the wealthy Borgia family by offering their assistance to Rodrigo Borgia in his attempt to become the next pope. While Rodrigo Borgia successfully became pope with the aid of his new allies, Tensions began to mount rapidly between him and the real Illuminati after he named himself Pope Alexander VI, which the real Illuminati believed was ill-advised as well as disrespectful towards their founder, Alexander the Great. In response, Rodrigo Borgia had numerous members of the Inner Council assassinated in various brutal and innovative ways, including having the treasurer of the real Illuminati stabbed to death with a golden fork. Subsequently, surviving members of the real Illuminati acknowledged Rodrigo as their new leader, who insisted that at the group's gatherings he should be called Alexander the Greater. New research performed at the University of Khan City has revealed that summer heat waves are caused by the eyes of birds. As explained by Professor Van der Bishop, leader of the research project, the eyes of eagles, hawks, and other birds of prey are so large they reflect vast amounts of focused sunlight to the ground while hunting, warming up the earth as they search for prey. The professor warns that the situation is infinitely worse at night near forests, where owls gather the light of the moon in their eyes and reflect it to the ground in a manner similar to laser beams, which can cause hot wind to rush forth from among the trees and suffocate unprepared hikers in its path. The details of the professor's research are available in his popular science article Why the next step in the evolution of birds will be to grow laser eyes. And now, sports. Brock the Bull, undefeated heavyweight champion of the Greenville Bullfighting Organization, has defeated Matador Evan Swift in the most highly anticipated match of his career. The contest, which had been scheduled on several occasions and postponed for various reasons, failed to live up to the hype as Brock's victory came by countout. Evan Swift spent over 10 minutes dodging the champion and running around the arena, in hopes of tiring out his opponent. Instead, Brock the Bull came within an inch of goring him after the Matador himself started to run out of steam. At the 11 minute and 32 second mark, Evan Swift jumped over the barricade and hightailed it out of the arena, awarding the victory by countout to the champion. Fans went home displeased as the Matador not only evaded the typically gruesome fate of being eviscerated by Brock the Bull, but even managed to slip away from the angry fans before they could lynch him. The chairman of the GBO has given his assurance that a more worthy opponent will be found for the next bout. 
Those were this month's headlines. This is Radio Khan City News, signing off. For more totally authentic news, including the true history of the real Illuminati and the cutting edge research of Professor Van der Bishop, go to www.concitypress.com right now.